Hello and welcome to Anthony's Brick Builds and today we're going over custom mock dives on this is my mock of the Disney Wish cruise ship. We were at Port Canaveral a couple weeks back and I saw this beautiful ship take off from port. It really inspired me to make a mock of it. So this is the mock that I have made of it. I'm very excited to share this ship with you guys today. But before we go on, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Turn the notification button on if you have not already. And for some background on the Disney Wish, this is the newest ship in the Disney Cruise Line fleet. It departs from Port, Port Canaveral, Florida. It also is the newest ship in the Disney fleet. It made its main voyage earlier this year, and I believe June or July. I do not know how many parts are in this thing, but I will tell you it's over 200 parts. Now, we, now let's head right on into the detailed and up-close look of this awesome mock. So for a little bit of background information, the front part of a ship is called the bow. The back part of a ship is called the stern. The right side of the ship is starboard. The left side is port. So I did not know that while I was making this. And now I have some great boating knowledge for later use. We'll be starting down at the bottom of the ship. There will be some real life images from our visit to Port Canaveral on screen in the bottom right hand corner. So you know exactly which areas I am talking about. Down here we do have this red and white line which is at the bottom of the sea where you can see poking up from the waves. The bottom part, or this blue part, is the bottom part of the vessel. There are portholes and little small windows throughout it. I was unable, though, to incorporate that into my design. Then we have the bow of the ship right here. Really wanted to use some one by two kind of um, slope bricks and inverted, so I'll be able to make a really nice um, bow to the ship, but I was unable to make that since I did not have the parts. Then we have this yellow line going around the whole ship. It looks really nice and also continues around the back. You also have the seven lifeboats that can carry a whole bunch of people included on here. That are these right here. And then coming up to the body part of the ship where you can see all the windows. There is a lot of windows and balconies. So I didn't know that Disney Wish had two bulges on each, either side of it. So that was what that represents. Would have liked those to make it a little more flow. So it flows a little bit better. But from what I have right now, it looks fantastic. On the front of the ship, I did include this little Mickey symbol. I do not know if it is accurate to the ship, but I thought it was really cool. And it did look really nice on the ship. Coming up to the front where we have the command center or the bridge. You would see I did use some 1x6 in blue and white. Also some cheese slopes in blue and some core round tiles in blue to make kind of that flow look of the front of the ship. Then we also have all the radars up here of what the ship communicates, weather and all that awesome stuff. And then we do have the front. I'm not entirely sure what it's called, but picture is on screen. It looks to be kind of more a radar. Coming up front, we have the front smokestack. And if you guys did not know, in Disney Cruise Line ships, the front smokestack is actually fake. Normally, they are just hollow on the inside, but in the Disney Wish, it is a really nice suite. Then we also have, of course, the Mickey Pool. And then we have the functional smokestack back here. I was the one able to add the aqueduct on here. It just did not work in the model. So to get that kind of clean look, I did have to unfortunately scrap that, but hopefully one day I'll be able to add it. And then of course we have some more radar back here. And then the back of the ship looks like this. So a pretty awesome design and really nice. Looks amazing. Thank you guys for joining me for this wonderful episode of Anthony's Brick Builds. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. To turn that notification button on if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next LEGO Disney video. Have a great and magical rest of your day.